Hello everybody, it's me from here today. We're doing a scratch trailer. If you couldn't tell because the scratch trailer for and it was open because I didn't use online and because hashtag yellow. Um Today this is Flappy Bird tutorial. Um so what you wanna do is you want to delete the cast first and then you want to just and you want to paint a new one and, and basically I'm not gonna make mine very detailed, but you can spend time in yours or you can just import an image and then edit it a little or if no editing is needed then don't do that. Um, all I'm doing is, I'm not doing anything very detailed, all I'm, um, all I'm doing is just this. Okay, so it, uh, you know what? That, that'll do. Um, and then just, just do two eyes and then, um, drop them, I guess. Which is one, actually, because, yeah, done. Okay, and then, um, we're gonna place the word somewhat to the left of the screen. Um, 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 if you have a backdrop, you can upload one. I'll upload it. Hang on a sec. Okay, I uploaded it, but that's absolutely tiny. So what I want to do is maybe we convert it to vector. I'll do it. Not just like this thing. Okay, just make it. In fact, you know, just go back to the map. That's better. Um, all the map isn't any better than vector. In fact, I use vector a lot more. But I just use um bitmap for this little bit. Yeah, can not hurt. Can not Shame we have to do a bit of stretching, but you'll do it, and then... Okay, job done. Just put something else, and that should be like that, if we delete that drop one. Um, okay, now, what you want to do is, you want to do, um... When have been five clicked, um... Forever, um... Well, what you want to do is, you want to add, like, a little border so that the bird touches it, um, it dies, so... Make a spider, you can move it up for a vector, um, and just make it any color. Make sure this color isn't used anywhere else. I'll be using black, um, because I don't think I'll need that anywhere else. Um, I've got, and I've got to, if you can, if you're very precise, you can just do it, drag this to the bottom. And now, um, you want to grab one green five click set, um, set. Color effect is zero, except you want to make it a ghost effect, and it, um, ghost effect, and you want to make it to a hundred, and so make it completely invisible, but it can still be detected. So, like, if you're hiding the sprite, then the bird can touch it, and thus, meaning that it wouldn't have a really suitable word, or so the, the bird would die from if it touched it. So, if you understand, so basically, forever, you'll make it, you want to make a new variable called fall. Mm, just call it whatever you want to call it, I'll just call it falling speed because I'm basically like that. Falling speed dot com. I, I just did, I just did dot, um, the file extensions or whatever. Falling speed dot AVI. Um, and basically what I want to do is, um, if, um, if, um, Mm. No, this is complicated. If not touching, um, if not touching the board spray, which is in the script part two. Trying to remove visitors off the, um, of my, off the top of my head here. Then, um, change it by minus, minus two. Else, I'll set it to zero. And then um change y by falling speed. You want to get that change y by falling speed. So if I ever do that, um, and you want to make it set falling speed to zero at the start of the game. And then um also go to a certain location, which would be um around here. You want to make it um around the y of zero and the y of zero. Um. Go to here, but except set y to zero. Um, no, no, uh, that break it. Um, and for some reason, the bird isn't going down fast enough, which is confusing. Okay, hang on, I've got bugs to fix. Okay, this is confusing. Oh, control the What the hell am I doing? Because that reason isn't working because. Because if it's not touching the sprite, then, then it's change flunks to be dot over every minus two and 
change ride very fast speed of AVI, so we'd constantly be doing that. In fact, so let's just try the next thing. Let's basically press um set falling speed to twenty. Um the flying speed of AVI, sorry. Um, and then you'll just get this. Um, why is this not working? Okay, so this is actually really good and basic for beginners. We're gonna try and get a nice, nice gravity script in. Thanks to the show the issue. Um, set falling speed to AVI to the, zero at the start of the game, not forever. That'll fix it. Okay. So far, so good, huh? We have quite some nice gravity scripts going here. Now we've got to do the pipes. So to do that, go and make a new sprite. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a black line just like we did for um the bird barrier. Do you want to know why we're doing that? Because this is gonna be the pipe barrier. And if it's touching the pipe barrier, then it will then the pipe will disappear and Okay, I'm kind of a clone of itself, but it won't. But we won't use clones. We'll just, we'll just do a forever loop. Um, like the unprofessionals we are. So, um, forever set. Um, set this to set ghost effect to um 100. I just do forever do it just in case, you know. And now you get the pipes. So, um, what you want to do is basically. Um, just, just, um, make a code that hasn't been used anywhere else yet. And you want to kind of do something like this. I'm using bitmap, but you can use a vector or anything, it shouldn't matter. Um, and then, what you want to do is you want to select all of this. Um, and, right, just get the duplicate tool and then select it. And then do the same thing. Take it all the way up to here. In fact, don't duplicate that again because that'd be bad. Um, just get the regular thing and drag it down to about here. And now, if you position it just about right, it should look quite nice for your game. But all you gotta do is just drag it to the left a little, and there you go. Here's your pipes. Now, all we gotta do is um. You may want to increase the gap size, um, which I will do because these pipes look very hard to get through. But yeah, if you want a difficult flappy bird, and obviously you don't do that. And um, you can, you can if you want make the pipes look more realistic than what I've got here. This is just a quick demo. So when green flag clicked, I want it to go to somewhere like here. Um. In fact, what I want you to do is maybe you want to duplicate that costume. Um, make this one go up higher, then make this one go up shorter, so it looks like the pipes are varied. Um, sorry, the gap heights are varied. Um, I'm going back clicked. Go to. Go to. Um. Minus zero. Minus zero, because that's a thing. Um. So go to this number here, and then um forever, um switch costume to pick random one to how many costumes you have. Uh, so I've got to do pick random one to two, and that looks a bit crazy, but don't worry. All I want to do is you want to get a repeat until block, and here's where sprite three over here comes into use. Um, repeat until touching sprite three. No, not spike two. Spike three. Um, change y by um, and change x. Sorry, by um, by a minus value, if you want. Um, and then it will go to and it'll go to the and it'll go to the same place it started off with. Um. Um. And you can see the pipes are being varied here, but, um, so let's try it again again. You can see that there isn't a, really a death script. You also may want to decrease the, um, to decrease the height of the jumping of the bird by just simply changing this number here. Do not have to 15. That would be, like, chaos, I can assure you. 
Yeah, so, so that is actually possible. And um, you can set that to everyone. There's a lot of customizability in the game. Um, and you can see that a game is that you can't really die. Um, so we'll make it if I'm touching the pipe sprout, so if touching sprout four in this case, then go to where we started out as. So I started out with. I mean, you know what I mean. Um, and let's try it this. See if the we go back to our starting position and broadcast pipe go back. So so we'll just make it broadcast message one and then when this receives message one go to yeah go to this location here. And now there you go. That's how to make a simple five bird game. Some things you want to do is add more questions to the pipes, so make it look more realistic. Anything you want to do, but I just showed you the basis of what you should really be doing here. Anyway, guys, that has been Spinning Broom. This is how to make Flappy Bird in Scratch, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!